Hey guys, welcome back to Handmade Home and another episode of Hester's House Update. There is one thing in my interior I absolutely can't stand and that's my divan bed in the guest room. I just don't understand why people make divan beds. It's a massive blob of furniture with no storage space underneath. And especially in the guest bedroom, you want all the storage you can get. You want to hide your suitcase underneath the bed and your winter clothes in summer and the other way around. You just want all the space underneath just to hide things you don't want to have in plain sight. I initially bought my divan bed uh, from my previous house, which was quite big. Storage wasn't an issue and it was the cheapest bed frame I could find at the time. And if you read my book, Furniture Hacks, you would have seen I made a pallet wood surround for the bed and it looked really good. But in this house I live in now, which is slightly smaller, I do need all the space I can get. So I thought there must be a way I can flip this bed and turn it around and make it into a bed with lots of storage. I had a look online and I couldn't find anything, so I started sketching. And I worked out some ideas on how I can turn the bed frame into a bed frame with lots of storage. And it works out, it's pretty easy. So have a look at how I turned my divan bed into a bed with lots of storage. A divan bed base is a wooden frame with fabric stretched around it. What we're gonna do, we're gonna cut the fabric away from the sides and from the bed end. So now with all the fabric cut away, you can actually see how much storage space is there underneath your bed. This is a space you didn't utilize before. I'm just double checking all my measurements before I start cutting the timber. And now I've got all my measurements, it's time to start cutting the timber to size. You're gonna build the storage bits first. What you're gonna do with your planks that you uh, cut to the correct size, you're just gonna place them on the timber frame. When you're happy with how they will be spaced out, we're gonna fix them by three drilling and screw it in place. And do the same on the other side. So now both holes have the shelving sorted. It's time to clap the end bit of the bed with bits of wood. And we're gonna attach this in a similar way. Pre-drill the holes and screw in place. If you don't want to see the screws, you can countersink your screw holes. This will make the screw head lie flush with the timber. And now we have a back. It's time to finish off the sides. I'm going to keep my two pieces separate as it's a bit easier to move the bed around then. So what we're going to do, we're going to put a bit of timber and we're going to cleft the outside like so. So line up here and mark where you need to cut off. Once you cut your timber to the correct size, fix in place. And also place a piece on the bottom. We also need a piece of timber here. So just measure how big it needs to be. For me it's 17 centimeters. And cut the timber to size. And fix in place. And now you're going to do the same with the other sides. With the sides all done, it's time to start on the headboard. We start building a frame with two vertical pieces of wood either end. And my bed's on wheels, I don't want it to completely hit the floor, so put a piece of timber underneath, pre-drill your timber and screw in place. The initial frame with another piece of timber, you lie on top, make sure the corners line up nicely in the back, you pre-drill these holes and screw in place. If you have enough timber left over, you can just start filling the frame now to make a nice headboard, but I want to use the leftover pieces. So what I need to do, I need to put two more verticals in, and I'm going to place one here and one on the other side. You're going to screw it in from the top and before you screw it in the bottom make sure the corner is nice and square. And now you can start lining your frame with your piece of timber. Pre-drill the holes, countersink and simply screw in place. So for the last leftover piece of plank to fill this length, put a new plank underneath, line it up with the edges and mark where you need to cut it. So now the whole headboard is finished, you can neaten the edges, but it's putting a little bit of timber on the side, like so, just screw it in place. And all that's left to do is send the whole beast and your bed is ready. You can sand either by hand with a little sand pad and sanding paper, or you can get the electrical sander out. And just in case you think I forgot to do the bottom bit, my mattress is 20 centimeters tall, so it would be a bit of a shame to put wood behind as well. So the metro is going to cover that gap. Cover 
spring that bed with timber made such a difference. There's heaps of storage space now underneath and the bed really makes a statement in the room. Even though the room is only half decorated, I still need to do the walls and new curtains. It really starting to look like a really nice and cozy guest room. This video is part of my Hester's House update series. If you want to have more inspiration how to turn a worn out, boring ex rental house into a stylish and cozy home, have a look at my playlist. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. Handmade Home brings a new tutorial every Thursday.